everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do Red Hat High Availability Clustering using Ricky and Lucy. I'm going to be using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5.6 and I'm just going to set up a really basic two node cluster. So I'm going to go step by step from the initial install to all the way through through creating the failover, the fencing, the resources, and then finally the services, and then starting up the services, and like a few basic command lines to check if the service is running correctly. So just keep watching and I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial because I know the first time I did this it was really painful to read those Red Hat documentation. They had tons of information but somehow still didn't really help. So it wasn't really until I went to some Red Hat avail high availability training that I really understood it. And once you go to training it's so clear. It's really easy to use. You just need someone to initially explain it. So I'm going to do this tutorial for someone who I someone like me a few months ago that thought that's like what is this what is going on here and I came from an HPUX environment using a uh, service guard so this was a slightly different mindset coming from there just the way they did it was slightly different so you kind of need that step-by-step -step work through so just keep watching and I'm gonna give you guys the easiest I promise easiest easiest tutorial ever on high availability clustering if you have any questions please leave them in the comments thanks during the Red Hat installation, do not install any high availability clustering software. The first thing that must be done is to add entries in our etc host file for our Lucy server and our Ricky nodes. Now Leia in this case is our Lucy server and Han Solo and Skywalker are our Ricky clients. Insert your Red Hat Enterprise Linux CD or go ahead and mount that ISO. Let's define the DVD repository we're going to use for the yum installations. Now run the command yum repo list and we're going to verify the DVD repos. Now we're ready to install the Lucy management software package used to configure and initially creating our cluster. We need to initialize the Lucy install. We're going to set a password and then we're ready to start the Lucy service. When the service has started up, notice how it's providing us a URL. This is the website we'll be using for the management and creation of our cluster. In my example, the Lucy server is known as Leia, and she'll be managing Han Solo and Skywalker. On each of the nodes we plan on putting in the cluster, go ahead and add those etc host files, create the DVD repo file, and now we're going to do the yum install ricky command, as seen on the screen. On each of those, we're going to go ahead and turn on the ricky command and go ahead and start up that service. Open up a browser and go to your Lucy management site. It's https leia colon 8084 or you could do it off your local host and it will be as seen on the screen. Let's go ahead and click on the cluster tab and let's click on create a new cluster to get started. Let's name our cluster. I'm going to call my cluster Star Cluster. Type in the host names of our high availability nodes as they appear in the etc host file. Then enter in the root password for those nodes. All the other settings can remain as default. The installation will begin. This process can be slow, so please be patient. To check the status, go ahead and check bar log messages for all errors and progress. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a fail over domain. I'm going to call it star fail. I'm going to say it's prioritized right here, which means all the nodes that I include in my cluster, the package or services running on that will be prioritized, where one being the highest priority and two being the next highest. This will determine where my services are running. Next, I want to define the resources. A resource could be an address, a service, a file system. In this case, I want to define an IP address as research. And this IP address will float in between the nodes of my cluster, assuming there is a network card on those nodes that will support the subnet that this IP address is on. The next resource I'm going to define is the MySQL service. I'm going to give the service a name that corresponds to the system service. I'm going to tell it where the config file is, and I'm going to give it a listening address. Notice how this IP address is the same as the IP resource I just added. Now we're going to define the node's fencing mechanism. Now defining the fencing states how the node is going to be quickly removed from the cluster. 
Now we're ready to define the server that's going to run on a high, our high availability cluster. I'm going to name it MySQL-Service. We're going to go ahead and go down and define our resources that we created and our failover domain and the nodes already have their fencing defined. The most important part of adding a service is defining your order of the resources. The first resource I'm going to add is the IP resource. Then I'm going to add the MySQL as a child resource. This is because the MySQL server requires the IP address of the parent resource to be available when it's starting up. Now if you click on the cluster tab, we're going to go ahead and start the new service we just created. While the service is starting to start up, it's a good time to watch var log messages for error messages and progress. You can always use the Lucy interface to move or reallocate or restart your services. You can run the command clue stat minus i1 on any node in your cluster to monitor the services that are running and the nodes that are currently up and responding. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd like to know that I helped some people within this video just because I know when it was me, I was like dying. I was like, what is this? Why isn't anything working? When do I start up this service? Why does my resource have to be named after the service running? Like, there is nowhere that says that, like, anywhere. <laughs> you know, little things like that and like, what do you do with Ricky? What do you do with Lucy? And like, when do you start it up? You know? So please, yeah, please let me, I know I'm ranting. Please let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.